hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video i'll be showing you guys how to you know use the mid journey ai app that is actually trending currently um if you're a designer and uh, then this app was actually created for you so you have to be using this to create great graphics like this i decided to make a tutorial on this because um i actually wanted to generate flyer designs because all the tutorials i saw on youtube actually were just for you know websites and i was wondering that why i couldn't get um flyer design so i worked on a couple of um after researching or using a couple of prompts from mid journey i was able to generate all the flyer designs which will be seen in this tutorial so with that being said let's get started all right so i'll be just be walking you through on how to do this then you can check out my next tutorial the link in the description below the designs we generated from mid journey how to actually use them to design real flyers all right so let's get started with what we have in the first section so this is first um um this is another ai ads flyer design i generated from mid journey um the prompt to the flyer designs which are our appetites which you can actually use will be in this description so this is the first one which you have here we seen the link here and the prompt i use also so you can just do it to customize those prompts what you should actually take note of is mainly yes mainly your size you've seen all the design we will make with this um flyers we generated in my next tutorial so um you should consider your size so let me just go back to this so when after using the particular prompt mid journey we actually generate four ai designs for you so you can see this are actually <laughs> these are pretty nice the four you are seeing here are pretty nice so you can just you know customize the prompt from the one which you are actually seeing now from this tutorial so they are all nice <laughs> they are just all nice i don't even know so i'll try to show you a detailed tutorial on how to do this but so stick with me to the end and i'll show you how to do that let me just rush through all the ai designs i generated with mid journey ai all right so this is the next one here this is the next one here it has to do with um sofas and chair um which i use from the prompt so you can see all the the four ai is a mid journey uh, mid journey generated for us this is actually nice so you can you know tweak this just make sure since like i said it's a flyer design there sometimes um um when using your prompt you just have to be kind of um realistic to don't depends on it depends on what you're doing actually so, so for some you can't actually go way too extreme like adding the style you want maybe futuristic or realistic or modern or minimal or just depend on what you're doing actually that is how you're going to use this in mid journey so i upscaled this design here the first one which we uh, which i seen okay it's actually the third one the third one i did this i've scaled this so this is it this is a better view for this so i'm showing you how to actually use this um designs to work on real projects so this is another one from the same the four ai generated for for us so this is the next one which i um went with with watches when using your prompt you can do well to add um, a specific brand brand um brand to the mid journey ai can generate that for you for example if you want to work on a rolex watch flyer so you can just make sure you include rolex watch in that your prompt so because if you include only watch watches or watch you i don't know mid journey it should just give you maybe any watch at all but if you want a particular watch you see that so you see from this tutorial you see other brands which you included and mid journey generated those designs um for us so this is a better view i'll scale this also to get a better view for this so um if you're a designer actually you can actually you know redesign this because this is the way mid journey generated it for us like i said the i didn't um, i didn't include the size for this so this is why the um fly is actually you know kind of trimmed or oh, sorry it was mocked up in this um design here because of shadow so you can actually erase this this is not add a thought to design from scratch so you can actually do this or you resize your design so it covers the whole the whole screen so you can actually do that so let's go to the next one which i have here this is from the um um events okay yes i did this um sometimes back so i can't actually remember this but i'll get prompts and you've seen it now so this is it let me show you the four version mid journey generated for us so you can see the, the first one is actually nice so you can see this this is it which mid journey um ai generated for us so this is um the four different ai that um mid journey generated for us so yeah i could use them um, i could use um shoe flyers and i make sure i input um nike there so i can get a nike shoe so if you really want to let's say you're working for a the design you're actually making is you know you want a particular brand just make sure you include your brand name so that mid journey ai will generate those products for you so the first the previous one was um a mercedes benz so that's why we can actually see you can see the car logo here and the car so just make sure you're including the brand name the style the way you want it to be modern futuristic so this is another one again like i said you can actually use this 
um, you can't change this, you can't use this because the designs are flat. Even when I click on variation for this, I still didn't get um, a straight one. So, so what you should keep in mind is that I always make sure I put that size. That was for the um, three first um, um, yeah, as you saw, which is this, this, the next one here which is this and the um okay yes this two ex exactly i included the size which is um i use the aspect ratio for one ratio one depending on your size if you're working with the long flyer like an a4 just you can do better to include that to a4 and you can include the aspect ratio to there so at least the this major area will really really give you a good result so you know be creative when using this and this is the last one which is here this is also i put um, i use the rolex watch for this but I, like i said i can't actually use this design um i can't actually use this design because all flyers are already the slant I, I need something that is actually straight so just make sure you're doing that in fact for anything you're doing that is just the main emphasis you should be you should focus on don't forget to impute to your side because you can really um get a nice design for the first time and once you impute that keyword again region will not give you that um particular problem because i saw it from instagram when um i was planning on using the same prompt then i just um he explained that sometimes you can't you might not get the same results for the same prompt which someone else is someone else used so just um do well to like i said the size is my main focus in this tutorial because there's no point in using i'm doing an ai art here which i can't actually use in my next design project so all right guys i'll let's uh let's head on to mid journey and i'll show you how to generate this ai art from mid journey let's do that now all right so we're back here in uh, mid journey so once you've um opened that just this click on this icon that looks like a that is a, yes, it's a ship so you can get inspirations from here also for the prompt you are going to use so um let me just let me quickly show you where i i researched from and i got few inspirations from this so once you're in this home um page menu you just scroll down to you, you see this um showcase this you can see the showcase so what I do, I actually search from um, search in this showcase area. So I use the site V4 showcase. So once you just click on it, okay, let me do one real quick. And once that generates one for you, you will just you'll be able to use the prompt there if you really like a particular design. So you know, this one has loaded. Wow. <laughs> Woo -hoo. Okay, this is really nice. This is let me even take a screenshot of this for myself. Alright, this is the my own design which you actually be seen in um this tutorial so this is this is it let me just stop this i hope you guys got what i actually said so once you just type in flyer design you can see the prompt the prompt is at the top of the design what they use so you just can you know copy that and tweak it or just do re-edit what you want to you know re-edit from there so um let me show you another where i, um, I got inspiration from here yeah, also from this themed image generator here yeah. so you just um i went to um image prompt i use image prompt just do the same thing i did in this place when i went to v4 showcase i went to image prompt i type in flyer design too because since it's flyer design i did for this tutorial mainly so whatever whether it's web design or banner I just do yours I, I used image prompt i used um multi prompt i use characters i use environment i use um x with y um why punk i use pattern and i use or oh, sorry this has gone down i use pattern and i use group jams too so just do have to do that to get inspirations in case you know you want to try this out and you have actually if you are using media for the first time you have um 25 free trials so just um know that so let's let's start using our prompt now to generate our ai designs all right guys we're here in uh mid journey so let me just quickly show you guys how you can generate your um prompt where, where you can use your prompt so once you once the app is open this icon that is like a ship yes this is a ship icon so that was you just click on then go to the new commerce room you can see the new commerce room they actually two years so you can just click on anyone the new b50 anyone so let me just use this so you go to this message bar here so you just click on um slash imagine so click on slash imagine then this yes this prompt yeah with display so you just click on prompt so you just click on space so what i've been using recently is that the brand or anything you want to do first that should be the first whether is um let me use a phone a phone design fire for instagram post 
for Instagram posts that what I normally do comma then I put my size square layout square layout all right so now you can input the style you want well whatever you, you want actually a phone a car a tire anything that's what you can actually follow this but just make sure you put that so I the next thing I just to input my square layout since I want it to be straight I don't just want it to be you know slant and I can't actually use the design so if you want that phone to be modern you know modern or I can even go ahead and add futuristic so it can look like an AI phone or whatever so let me just click on high resolution I use high resolution too then 8k I put 8k um uh, let me just repeat the phone again so that okay you can pick a particular phone for this or Samsung or you just pick a phone you get that phone but let me just leave it at that so I click on my aspect ratio aspect ratio one ratio one this is also the size in your software so just I repeated the size twice square layout and um, the aspect ratio so that at least I can get a similar size so this is it can even add the color the color the style just you know be creative when using this let me just click on this so that me journey will start generating it for me all right this is where my message is this is where so you can see the time just look at any time you click on that click on the time the time is 521 so sometimes it normally um takes time for this okay wow <laughs> i'm seeing it already this is getting nice i'm seeing it already so I would like the fourth one, the second one, the okay, okay, okay. Let's just continue loading. All right, so I think that's loaded. So you just the time now is five twenty two. So my design um finished processing by five twenty two. So I'll just scroll down. Whoa! <laughs> uh, wow! 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 This is nice. This is nice. This is nice. I don't even know which one to pick. I can I love the second uh, everything is nice the second the third and the fourth everything is good this is what I done <laughs> okay I think I went back so I'll just scroll down back to 522 scroll down back to 522 so just don't do what I did now this is one thing I actually don't I've not been finding interesting since I started to join the what people are using this every time so your design will just kind of move to where they even yourself. My design I'm looking for. Let me scroll up since it's still 522. Let me try to scroll up. I'm seeing the time that people are posting there. Yeah, you can see it's 522. Here's a better view of my design. So the main purpose is actually for you to learn how to use um um which journey to generate this prompt. Oh, sorry, your AI design. So if you are not seeing your design, just be, just be scrolling down according to the time limit which you, you knew that um you click on mid journey for it to generate it for you just scroll down so you can actually see your design i don't want to scroll if i move this now i don't think i won't see the gaze here. so um that is how you do it so if you want a different version of this like i said i'm not sure if i'll see my design once i remove this so you know since you know that in four variations i know that you can upscale them i did this for this you can actually choose a different version too for this just click on version one. the the number that it is whether one's three or four so you'll be able to get access to the um this design will be do me journey generate another four different type of design for you with this so that is how you, you can actually do this with me journey okay this is that is that let me just quickly see if i can generate another one here with me journey ai so i'll just click on slash imagine slash imagine then okay i won't there won't be space i'll click on my prompt so whatever design i'm using let me just use bike flyer design bike flyer design for instagram um post then comma square layout if you want it to be let's say you're working with a different kind of layout rectangle you can just make maybe a straight rectangular layout and you can input your aspect ratio to square layout modern i want it to be modern futuristic modern futuristic um high resolution High resolution, 8K. Put on 8K. This is what the designs you are seeing are what people are generating. 8K. Let me click on motorcycle or power bike. Power bike. Motorcycle. Motorcycle. Let me just use feature bikes. Feature bikes. So that I want this one to be really really nice. Feature bikes. Then AR. My aspect ratio is still. Hold on. Sorry. My aspect ratio is still one ratio one. You can get this aspect ratio from your 
software you just know that you can get it from your software so this is it so you should i already said i think i did for the variation and the um uh, let me just hold my design now so it's not start running up anyway i already said it so it's not start running anyway again okay time is 551 for this the time is 551 oh i've seen the first slide already i've seen the first slide already so i think this will be wow <laughs> okay now let's continue let's continue okay the first slide and the last one is actually pretty nice this is 552 wow let me... whoa <laughs> so this is what me journey ai can actually do for you this is crazy this is i really love this all right so i would um okay let me just try to get another variation for my design okay my design has gone down let me just scroll to 552 so i'll just click on upscale one i want to upscale this design to make it larger upscale one and upscale four the last one and upscale four so i don't know that this thing actually clicked i clicked on it but it's not seeing anything so i don't know if it's my mid journey maybe it's my service okay yes uh, okay so you just again you scroll down to get your design you scroll down to get your design so this is really really nice this is just time is 553 now so i would get my design if it has been uploaded let me just start scrolling down so i can see here's my design where is my design running to now <laughs> all right this is it thank you so much guys for staying to the end thank you so much and i hope you try out mid journey so i'm not sure i actually mentioned this in my um in this tutorials but yet it is um i kind of if you have if i'm taking time to see my designs i actually logged in with mid journey from my chrome so i just did that just do that to log in i enabled the desktop site you can do that on your chrome browser just click on this three icon here and three icon here and you to enable the desktop site so immediately i just stop touch on upscale upscale or variation they will be they will be available here instantly and okay. so because that mid journey you have to be scrolling down again you know and it takes time so in case i didn't mention this for the upscale upscale is to get a larger version of your design for anyone you're upscaling since mid journey is generating four designs for you so once you just click on upscale one two three or four for you already should know what which one is one this one two three and this four so whatever you click on upscale one two three or four you can see them at you see them at the bottom of the design there u1 u2 u3 and u4 so you get a larger version of that so you can also, you just scroll down and you see it's a mid journey but i actually started using this recently and the same is for variation for version v1 v2 v3 and v4 that's for every for the four designs which i seen here if you click on the particular design for um for example if you click on the this first design for v1 which is v1 you get another four different um designs for this particular one that what uh, mid journey will generate so if you do it for v2 2 and v3 and v4 that's what you would um you will get so i think i've covered that is the main thing i actually want to say your variation the upscale and um you can use this um you can use your chrome browser you know to, to just get your upscale or, or your variation design a little bit faster so i hope you you actually try this out and i hope it will really be helpful so thank you guys for staying to the end thank you for checking out this video if you um, love this kind of like share and subscribe do well to you know let other designers know that they can actually start using um new journey ai to generate really really cool graphics for their next design project and i hope you actually start using this too so thank you for staying to the end i'll see you guys in my next tutorial